So let us come back and do the next reaction that is your Hoffman's bromomide reaction. Basically, when in the exam, suppose this is given to you, you don't remember anything. One line at least, please try to learn and go. I'm talking about students who, like, if you tend to forget, one important thing what Hoffman's bromomide synthesis this is used to prepare prepare just one line remember this line at least you will get one mark used to prepare <coughs> aliphatic and aromatic yes primary amines from right so well, from where uh, if you can at least remember till here okay from where that is important that is also important rather from amides yes so at least this word please remember and okay now let us go into the basic thing now whenever you're preparing or whenever you have to prepare any prim primary amines or primary amines that is aliphatic primary amine and aromatic primary amine simple you we try to use hoffman's bromomide reaction what is that as the name suggests bromomide simple now what are you going to do first take an <coughs> acetamide take one acetamide to this acetamide you're going to introduce bromine gas G. So, in this, this bromine gas, we are going to introduce, or this is going to we are going to carry uh, carry this reaction in the presence of a base, strong base. Then, when you are carrying this whole thing under these conditions, simple, you just start from here. You are going to pick up four moles of KOH so that it's easy. Now, then you get a product called alkyl amine plus your kbr plus k2co3 plus water so when you balance this with this also to this also too so this is the basic reaction right in the exam you have to show this reaction in with examples now i said it's going to be going to prepare both aliphatic and aromatic amine let us take first general example first acetamide what is acetamide now this is your acetic acid isn't it this is your acetic acid now what am I going to do? I am going to take out this OH and I am going to add NH2. Now this becomes acetamide, amide group, acetamide. To this acetamide, I am going to add bromine gas. Along with that, we are going to add a strong base. How many did I take? 4 moles. Now observe. First important thing, <coughs> this particular CO isn't it? Is there isn't it? Now this CO, observe carefully. This whole CO will come out with this potassium as carbonate. Remember why? In acetamide or Hoffman's bromide, you get an alkyl amine with one carbon less. That is the main concept. Okay. Acetamide to alkyl amine with one carbon less. This is very important. Don't blindly write carbon less. Don't blindly write when you see amide. Don't reduce it and don't. Please don't do it. One carbon less amine should be prepared. So now how many carbons you have? Two. Now take out one. This will become CH3NH2. This is one carbon less, isn't it? This is two carbons here. Two carbons here. This is one carbon here. What is this compound? This is primary amine. That is methylamine. Now, okay, methyl amine. Now done. Now let us see. This part is over. Let us come back. Now you have you have four potassiums, right? One, two, three, four. Okay. Now OH is like this. Simple reaction is very simple. How should I write? First important thing: your potassium with bromine comes out as KBr. Okay. Now how many did I take? Four, isn't it? Now in this KBr, like let us pick up these two. Or the out. So two KBr done. Still I have two potassiums. Yes. Now you also have CO run like K2. C O. So this is out. This is out. Done. These two are out with Br. Done. These two are out here. K2. Now CO is also coming out. But observe carefully. CO3. 
potassium carbonate now here potassium carbonate now observe three oxygens have gone so one gone two gone and this also has gone now what are we left with <coughs> i am left with your hydrogen one two three four so two two is a four so four h2 okay two to the four how many oxygens two oxygens water so two hydrogens one oxygen two oxygens so two to the four hydrogens one two three four and two oxygens so two oxygens simple isn't it so i have got this is your hoffman's bromomide reaction now suppose if i have to prepare uh, this is your aliphatic amine isn't it yeah now let, let us prepare aromatic amine so for that what am i going to do i'm going to take benzamide <laughs> This is CO NH2. This is benz benzamide. To this benzamide, I'm going to add bromine gas again. You add four KOH. Same thing. Here you are going to get one carbon less. Careful. So you are going to prepare benzene ring. This CO comes out as potassium carbonate, as I explained earlier. Products are the same. 2 KBr. I've explained earlier, isn't it? 2 H2O. And the leftover, this is gone. I'm, I'm going to get aliphatic amine. So this is aliphatic amine or aniline. Aniline. Simple. So most important thing is picking up bromine gas because bromomide reaction. And important thing, you are taking four. KOH for moles of KOH. Otherwise, you will end up writing some product which has the same number of carbon atoms. Wrong. The product will have with one carbon less. Here CO benzene ring. Here no CO. Here CO and H2. Here no CO. So this is your Hoffman's bromomide reaction.